Scatter diagrams, also called scatter plots, are a type of graph used to visually represent the relationship between two variables in order to quickly identify the correlation between them. Understanding the nature and extent of the relationship between these variables helps determine if one variable is dependent on the other or not. As a 7QC tool, scatter diagrams are used to determine if a relationship exists between the inputs to the process, or process characteristics, and the outputs from a process, or product characteristics. They also help identify the presence of potential cause and effect relationships for effective problem solving. In an effort to understand if variables in a process have a relationship, the first step is to identify two variables that are suspected to exhibit a relationship. Then, the paired sample data are collected. In other words, for every value of the independent variable, or process characteristic, a corresponding value for the dependent variable, or product characteristic, is generated. Next, the graph is constructed by first assigning the dependent variable to the vertical y-axis and the independent variable to the horizontal x-axis. Finally, the scatter diagram is created by plotting the collected data on a graph. The scatter diagram is now complete, and the diagram can be analyzed to identify the nature of the relationship between the two plotted variables. When analyzing a scatter diagram, the nature of the relationship will be identified as one of four distinct types based on the amount of correlation seen. When the dependent variable increases linearly with an increase in the independent variable, such that the data clearly exhibits the shape of a line trending upward, then the relationship is said to have positive correlation. When the dependent variable decreases linearly, with an increase in the independent variable such that the data clearly exhibits the shape of a line trending downward, then the relationship is said to have a negative correlation. When the dependent variable initially increases and then decreases, or vice versa, such that the data clearly exhibits the shape of a curve, then the data are said to be stratified. The data then need to be separated to better understand the relationship. When there is no pattern seen between the two variables, such that the data exhibits a random behavior, then the relationship is said to have no correlation. While this visual, graphical analysis gives an idea about the relationship between variables, performing further statistical analysis to quantify the relationship may be needed to better understand the issue at hand.